yeah so like just ignore this just just ignore what's good youtube it's your girl by me doll here and if you don't know now you know saying hi to my returning subscribers and if you're new baby come be a baby doll period now i know your girl is looking a little bit crazy right now we're gonna look like a baddie by the end of this video okay so that's not ugh. but before we get into this video don't forget to give this video a like comment share don't forget to subscribe hit that bell to be notified every time that i post and let's get into the video all right so first the couple of things you're going to need you're going to need a comb you're going to need, you know, your grease or your oil of your choice. You're going to need some edge control, you know, to slick down the hair. And you're going to need a little bit of gel. And you're also going to need your crochet needle. And then I bought at the beauty supply store the Free Trust Water Wave hair. But it had three packs in one. And it was like $13 each pack, each thing. So, yeah, you guys can also get those too. Um, and it's six in all basically, so we're gonna hope that these six do all of my head. I'm gonna come back to you guys when most of the back is done. All right, y'all. So it's been, I think, like two hours, two and a half hours basically. And this is as far as I got, and this is what they're looking like. This is what it looks like in the back. I'm hoping that it looks good. I can't really fully see it, but this is what it's looking like. I realize that because of how short my hair is, I can't really do the whole, like, the lock wasn't coming out right at first. Like, I was struggling at first. So, what I do is I had a little leftover braiding hair for anybody who has short hair like me. And I took, like, a little smidge of braiding hair for each one. And I crocheted it with... The water wave curly twist hair so basically i took two strands of it separated them so yeah so it ends up looking like this and then i usually put it with the braiding hair because the braiding hair gives since my hair is so short it doesn't really have stability for the locks so the braiding hair gives it some type of stability so that it has something to wrap around and latch onto i take it stick the crochet needle in pull it through like that okay there right so now you have two halves a part of and and then braid your braid in the middle right so then i take the braiding hair piece pieces and i put them together and i put them with one of the halves of the curly hair if that makes sense Right, so then I take one side, if you guys can see, and I start wrapping. I wrap really tight at the top. Right, and then start to wrap loose at the bottom. I know there's like this thumb method that everyone uses, and I tried to use it. Like, see, I'm trying now, and it just, it wasn't coming out right for me. So I just realized wrapping it really, really loose, and it'll give you like that whole butterfly curl sticking out kind of thing going on see so like i literally just wrap it really really loose like i don't hold it tight at all i'm wrapping it really loose and then once i get to like the ending spot of where i actually want the hair to stop the rest of them at the blunt cut kind of bob thing going on I leave the braiding hair at the bottom, take the rest of the curly hair, and I twist it back up. So basically, I just flip it and twist it back up. Like how you guys seen in my faux locks um, tutorial that I did. Only And then I twist it up very, very loose. Because I want to give it that butterfly effect. Then I take some scissors. If you have any scissors and cut off the braiding piece and there you go butterfly lock and then if anything if i realize it doesn't have as many like sticking out pieces that i want to i kind of like fray it like i pull out little pieces so that it really gives me that whole butterfly 
look that I want actually. So yeah, that's basically what I do. We're about to speed it up and show you guys. Alright y'all, so I did even more. Oh, I'm getting so tired. It's been like three hours and like it's been like three hours and like 30 minutes, just this front area. And I am so tired, but I want to push through and keep going. Cause ain't nobody got time to be starting and then doing it later on because I got places to go. So yeah, but we gonna keep going. Yeah, y'all know I'm feeling myself right now because this looks so cute on me. Oh my god, you know, y'all know how many times I've put on fox locks and people have always told me girl you should lock your real hair girl you should lock your real hair they look good on you but i'm not trying to lock my real hair because i like doing different styles i like to do i like to be out of the box i don't want to have to have dreads every single day not me baby it's not it not saying if you rock your dreads go ahead rock your dreads girl not not slandering anybody but yeah my just kind of coming up a little bit it's okay it's okay though. But yeah, this is this is it, boo. I'm annoying. I'm annoying. But yeah, this is basically it. This is how the butterfly locks came out. They're so cute with the little curly pieces sticking out of them and stuff. They still part of, part of me, they still kind of look like fox locks to me, but like when you really look up close and personal and you see the little like pieces coming out of it, they do look a little bit more butterfly-ish look but i mean if anything i can always like yank out some more pieces so that they look more butterfly than false locks but y'all tell me i'm probably pronouncing it wrong 
but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video um you guys can comment if you guys have any questions about what i did what i didn't do if i didn't fully explain something or anything like that and comment any other videos you guys would like for me down below and that's basically it bye baby dolls